I want to know about Drew Friedman. What about Drew? Drew's a genius. I, he's a genius, man. Yeah. I met Drew because I had him draw the, all the pictures for my book. I don't even know how he does it. Some of the best work ever. So, uh, yeah, he's a brilliant guy. This is a film about art. It's called Drew Friedman, Vermeer of the Borscht Belt. Drawing was kind of an escape for me. And my teachers like kind of gave up on me. Like, this kid, all he wants to do is draw. It's like, what's up with that? And he's not going to go anywhere because he just draws crazy faces. There's a, a darkness to it. It's almost like there's this, there's all the cartoonists and then there's Drew Friedman. That's what I did. I sat in class and I just drew. I don't think that Drew Friedman is, is sunk in nostalgia. He is sunk in celebrating um, survival on the fringes. His art spoke to that fascination I had that was almost a morbid fascination with, with show business. Obscure people in show business that people don't remember. Here's a guy who stays up late at night and watches old movies just like I do. The people that, you know, most people wouldn't pay attention to. And Drew is, is, is at least fighting a good fight saying there was once a man named Norm Crosby. It's beautiful. That really, to me, is the essence of, of Drew Friedman. Was just drawing, obsessively drawing. So this is the notebook cover is just, you know, every little, every spot is covered with, with the face. Vampire faces, the Marx Brothers are on there, Nixon. The actual notebook didn't have anything inside of it. You know, maybe more drawings. This is a film about art. Jews, television, Long Island, New York City, and comedy. It's called Drew Friedman, Vermeer of the Borscht Belt. When I see Drew's pictures, I, I think of it as those kind of dreams you have uh, when you have a really high fever. And, and you pass out and you have those dreams that are they're just disturbing and you know you wake up and then throw up immediately.